Lori, and I am from Wisconsin, and I have, well, I have like a gazillion things wrong with me. To simplify that, I have really low blood pressure, and I have low heart rate, and I also have what is called irritable bowel syndrome or spastic colon, and I have had that for more than 30 years, and for me, it just was a normal state of life to live with this unpredictability of never knowing when my colon was going to act up and I was going to have spasms. So I had to have surgery to have the sigmoid removed. I had a colon resection and then that was re-anastomosed. I don't have a colostomy um, that was pieced back together in January. But I still continued on with the irritable bowel symptoms. And I was told after going to several different healthcare systems, I had been to the best place in Minnesota and that shall remain nameless and I've been in Chicago to the hospital, a couple of different healthcare systems in Milwaukee, Green Bay, and there I was told by the doctor, he said, you know what, you're just scary and I'm just not going to get my hands dirty and he just didn't really want to help me and then at home where I live, um, my doctors that were trying to help me, you know, are really dear friends of mine, I'm a nurse and I work with them and our families are friends and so it wasn't that they didn't care and that they didn't want to help me it was just you know they say that this is incurable there's nothing we can do so we'll just try and manage the symptoms as one of the doctors put it here he said you know you see the commercial of a woman who's got arthritis and she's all bent over and she's in so much pain and so then she takes the Advil and then she's running with the grandchildren and everything is wonderful and he said it really is something that they didn't fix the problem. They just masked it and it's like having a fire in your house. And you call the fire department and they come and they shut off the alarm that is just so loud and so obnoxious and woke you up and alerted you to the danger. And they disconnect that and they say, okay, everything's all better. And then they leave and the fire is still burning. But because they've disconnected the alarm and now that's not aggravating anymore, then the problem, you know, it's fixed. I have been, I've been sick, really honestly, like I said, for more than 30 years. It's just been so normal for me to not feel well. I got very sick last July and it got to the point where up until two weeks ago, I couldn't get out of bed for any more than maybe a couple of hours one day and then I would have no energy to, to go the next day. I um, have found out since I've been here that I have celiac disease, which means that I can't have anything that has any kind of wheat or white flour in it. All of the fuel that I was putting in my body was doing nothing but just irritating that whole intestinal system and I developed what is called a leaky gut. And I ended up with holes in, in my intestine that allowed things to get into my bloodstream that were causing me to be poisoned even more. So up until two weeks ago, it was at the point where my husband, I mean, they, they really thought I was going to die. Um, and I have I have a picture here and you're not going to be able to see this very well, necessarily. But I have eight children, and I have a son-in-law, and then we had another young man that had lived with us. And, you know, they needed their mom, and my husband needed his wife, and I was ready to die. I just didn't want to suffer anymore. I didn't want to be in pain. My husband said, I, I'm not going to sit back and just have you die when we have the possibility of going to Sanity. I sat down for supper with my bag of meds and I pulled out the ones that I normally take and the other people sitting at the table said, well, you won't be taking those for very long. And I'm like, they're not taking my meds away. <laughs> you know, this is mine. You know, this is how I live. You can't take my stuff away. And now, right now, I'm only on one of those medications because I, of my thyroid condition. My blood pressure is where it needs to be. My pulse is where it needs to be. It was dismaying to get the results back that said, oh wow, you know, all of these things that you thought you were eating that were healthy and good for you were you know, poisoning your body. But in getting that bad news, the good news was, for the most part, with IBS, with irritable bowel, it's curable. 
and changing the diet and the diet that I have here and you know they make me these shapes out of like pea protein and nut milk and other things like that which you know I have to get the recipes for which I never would have made at home but you know I'm drinking that now and I have energy and I have color in my face I got here and one of the girls that saw me when I walked in she said you were so pale and you just looked like you were ready to die and quite frankly I was. I was praying for that. I was just praying that it would just be over. We know what the root cause is and we're repairing things at the cellular level. We're putting out the fire instead of disconnecting the alarm. And I am feeling 110% better than when I came here and I'm going to be able to go home and take care of this family that I've been given instead of them having to watch their mom die and die from something that was fixable. It wasn't, I don't have cancer, you know, it was something that, it, it was fixable. It just, they didn't know enough to um, look and dig deeper. And that is what Sanabeep has done. They have came here and was getting around in a wheelchair. And now I'm walking and I have hope again, where two weeks ago, I had no hope that I was going to live. I love the fact that at the desk it says, have you gotten your hug today? And <laughs> from the dentist to the lady who cleans my room to the ones who do the um, you know, massage therapy to the doctors to the coordinators, you know, just the hug therapy here is, is huge. You know, um, my doctor told me the first day, he says, we're huggers, we don't shake hands. If you have problems with IBS and your doctor has told you that there's no cure for that, you need to think twice. This is the place to come because they probably can help you.